120 minutes. Our special guest tonight is Jay Aston from Gene Loves Jezebel. Hello. Jay, your fifth album is Kiss of Life, but this is your first without your twin, Michael. Michael, where are you? <laughs> you have a song on this album called Two Shadows, which uh -huh. describes the, the inseparability between you two. I know, yeah. Is it exhilarating or frightening to be out on your own? It's pretty much both things. I mean, the exhilarating thing is the future is a challenge again. Oh, we're not leaning, I'm not leaning on my brother at all, or vice versa. And I can make decisions which I can stand by. I can stand by my lyrics totally. And Michael can do his own thing. He signed a virgin now, so that's it, you know, very exciting. What about some of the negative aspects of it? Uh, well, Mike's very sharp and very funny sometimes, so I miss that, that side of it. Uh, I'd, I've got no idea what the live sound, I don't know. I just don't know. We haven't done any live shows yet. The first one's going to be with David Bowie next month, so... That'll be, that'll uh, be a great show. Mm -hmm. 60,000 people, yeah. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. Some of the songs on this album ha have a fatter guitar sound. Do you think so? I think it's just more of a, it's a four-piece band suddenly, you know. It's just guitar, bass, drums, vocals, which is a basic, a fundamental rock and roll lineup you can get. And it's just f very much more focused. I mean, James is a phenomenal guitarist and uh, he's just plugged in and we just did the album. It was very quick. We were very pro prolific for, uh, for that period, for some reason. So After you, a very sort of shallow year in 88. You don't feel then that you've moved away from your Celtic roots? I don't think so. I mean, there's a song in the album called Kiss of Life, and I Die For You is very Celtic, indeed. So uh, I don't, I'm just a, a quarter of this band, you know. It's James, uh, Peter, James and Chris have their huge input. It is a group which Mike and I always annoyed us immensely. They just look at these two twin brothers and go, hi, you know, put us on the sleeve and try and sell this record kind of thing. And we used to get upset by that, so... It's a group, very much a group, and that's why we kept the name, really. But you're writing the lyrics on totally, this album, right? Yeah. Well, I've always written lots of the lyrics, but um, totally on this album, yeah. What's the inspiration for Jealous? Uh, pretty much I was in the old Brompton Road in London, which is, you know, very well. <laughs> it's uh, quite a sort of a, a flush part of West London, and there was this couple coming out of a very nice restaurant. They were very young, about 17 or 18, and very much in love, obviously. Suddenly, I, I, I feel perhaps I was alone. I was lonesome. I'd come out of a long relationship. And perhaps I was just jealous of the fact that they were happy and they had more than I did. So I just kind of wrote about it. It's a song of the human condition, and certainly my human condition. So, you know, it's just my comment. Here's the video. Gene loves Jezebel with Jealous. Do you know Jezebel with Jealous? Jay, have you become more comfortable in front of the camera? Or was that always something that came quite naturally? Um, well, I've always enjoyed performance. So, um, yeah, I like, you know, I like performing to something as focusable as a camera. It's there, so, yeah. You started out almost as a performance art troupe. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. We, we never intended forming a, a rock group at all, no. We used to just hang about the ICA with lots of other pretentious young artists. We were two The ICA in being... London. It's the Institute of Contemporary Artists. In London, I actually had a bar job there, but um, we used to just make films and stuff, and we were like two wild-eyed kids from Wales with dreams, you know, naive, full of hope and dreams, and, you know, we just had a great time, and we kind of just ran into musicians who just said, oh, you two should be on stage, and so we jumped on stage, as simple as that. And now got a record team after, a record contract after two shows, which I'm not sure is such a good thing in the long run, because the empirical path, which is a path where you learn through a process, of developing your act, you know, is much better than just getting a record contract and just go on the road. We found that very strange and... <laughs> well, you're still around. We're still, it's the only group we've ever been in, yeah. Out of either, I'm the only original member, actually. So, strange, yeah, we're still here. And you have a new album called The Kiss of Life, and we're gonna talk more about that in the second 60 of 120 Minutes. Mm -hmm. Dave Kendall with you for the second 60 of 120 minutes. Jay Asson of Gene Loves Jezebel is here. We'll be hearing more from him. We'll also count down the College Radio Top 10 and we'll peruse the latest video. <laughs> Thank you.
minutes on MTV. Our special guest tonight, Jay Aston from Gene Loves Jezebel. Jay, your new album is called Kiss of Life. What is the title track about? Uh, I think it's pretty much about just the, uh, pursuing dreams, pursuing the state of happiness, which is the only state I find acceptable, really. Um, melancholy comes second because it's, you know, it's fun to be that vain and look at yourself. It's fun to be melancholic. Yeah, it's cool. You write your best songs when you, when you feel that down. Because when you're melancholic, it's usually because you're longing for something or missing something. And that's, you know, very... You can be very creative in that So it's situation. a creative mode. Very much so, yeah. Another theme that, that seems to run through the album is separation and, and commitment. Sure. Well, we, we went through a lot of... I mean, my brother left the group. We're twins. We've been together since the womb, you know, which is pretty... Uh, a long time. Um, all our ups, all our battles up and down have been together, you know. Um, I had a long relationship, a bad relationship with a girl, which I ended. I changed management. I moved, you know. I was so suddenly isolated, so um, I was just looking at myself, doing in truth. I'm not materialistic at all, so it's just dealing with those feelings. I keep a diary. It's lots of excerpts from my diary. I've kept a diary for about 14 years of my life. So it's, deal it's very much an album of truth. You have a couple of shows with David Bowie next month, yeah, is that right? He's, yeah, he's invited us to play with him, which I'm really excited about. It's before 60,000 people, which is our first gigs as a four-piece. So um, it's, a, it's certainly a, a good way of introducing the band again, so, which we always seem to be doing, actually. <laughs> Every tour I do, well, we're Jean Lewis Jezebel, I'm from Wales, la la la, well, this is our songs, la la la. It gets a bit boring, but... Um, that's a good way of doing it for that many people. Do you think you'll ever play with Michael again? Uh, so, yeah, of course. You, I'll do anything for him. I love him. He's my brother. Yeah, sure. Someday. If he needs me. If Virgin Records let him. <laughs> I don't know. That's because he has his own band called The Immigrants, yeah. is that right? I think it's called The Immigrants. I mean, you, you better get him on the air to ask him, because um, he's still working on it. So, he's worked with all kinds of people. You know, he's, he's looking for completely separate. He's been in this one group for this, was it, eight years, nine years, and um, he's looking for a completely different experience, work with different musicians again, and just see where that takes him, you know. So, I wish him the best of luck. Jay, we wish you the best of luck. Thanks very Thank much you, for coming by. Thank you. And here's a look at an older Gene Loves Jezebel video. This is, <laughs> this is desire. <laughs>